Um, what is it about? It's about Riley's journey into <laughs> puberty and the new emotions that come to、yeah. help her along that. How they integrate with the older emotions. And just honest, it's just to me that, and it's like the brilliance of Pixar、uh, taking the challenge of the complex life of like emotions、yeah. and making it accessible. That's. And it is accessible. Like you watch, and you're like, "Oh, what a beautiful way to see the emotional life." Yeah, and an emotional upheaval. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. A, a resolution. It's、yeah. brilliantly done. What makes it so cool to get to know the emotions in our mind? I think that is the thing that is cool is to get to know them. You know, because for many years in my life, I tried to push them away. Yeah. Like, Not like that feeling that well, that's not good. But the more I got to know them, the more that I gave them a seat at the table, the more that I like gave them compassion. Then it's like, oh, they're for me. They're not against me. You know, that's a huge part of the message of this film. Yeah, what's cool about getting to know our emotions is the awareness that they're there to protect us. I、mm. mean, fear quite literally will protect you. Disgust protects you,、um, and envy teaches you what you want. You know,、uh, mm. sadness shows you the val- shows you that you loved, or so it showed you that you cared. Anger stands up for what's right. I mean, all these emotions are there to protect us and to teach us, and not you know. Learning from them, giving them a seat at the table, and also welcoming them in and, and learning、yeah. from what they have to say. Embracing them. What makes fear tick? Well, I loved the description that Kelsey and Mark gave me when I first started recording because I want to. I was curious the dis- the distinction between fear and anxiety, and they said fear is reacting off an actual threat, and anxiety is reacting off a perceived threat. So it was like. Fear, obviously, when the sarcasm opens up and he freaks out, whereas anxiety lives in these scenarios and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, I like that a lot. So, and it was just fun, like bringing literally the inside out. Like many times, I want to react like fear. I want to do that, but I kind of keep it in. And to go in the voiceover booth and just like let loose, that's fun.、Uh, who do I voice?、Uh, I voice disgust, and disgust is very. Uh, correct about all things, all of the time.、Mm-hmm. Very protective of Riley.、Uh, she doesn't want Riley to fall to social poison, to actual, you know, poison, to、um, physical danger. And、um, yeah, she's not afraid to speak her mind and to pr- in order to protect Riley.、Mm. And she's very correct in her opinions. Oh, always. Disgust is a vital emotion for Riley because. Disgust is a protector of Riley. You know, like all the emotions, they you know, disgust exists to preserve、um, Riley's physical safety and her social safety.、Mm. So she's. I think Riley's probably is it like twelve to thirteen.、Um, she's a big hockey player, and she is about to go to a hockey camp with her friends. And that's when she meets these kind of older. Actually, she just left middle school, so she's going into high school,、mm-hmm. and she meets the high school girls that are part of the high school hockey team. And so then she's kind of in, she's kind of in awe of them.、Mm. I'd say when I was a teenager, it was a mixed bag. Yeah. But I would think embarrassment, anxiety.、Um, Yeah, those seem to be kind of the prominent, like wanting to fit in, feeling uncomfortable, envy,、mm-hmm. that kind of thing. That was like a; those were the, those were kind of the those were the trinity of the day. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a teenager, it was it was all of the emotions except for joy.、Mm. It was ennui. It was embarrassment. It was.、Um, Disgust. It was anger. It was. It was everyone,、mm. except for yeah, except for joy and nostalgia. I think it's important to talk about emotions in an accessible way because it leads to, aside from leading to mental health, it leads to just a happier life.、Mm. Um, I think it it makes relationships better. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, take your kid there." I, you know, take your kid to see Inside Out too. I would say take your partner to see Inside Out too. Go with your parents. I think any emotional awareness is is just gonna better your life.、Mm. Yeah. Why do I think it's important to talk about my emotions in an accessible way? I there's something to piggyback on that. I think it's also the more that I connect with the other ones, it just increases the joy. You know, to make to make fear accessible, to make the anxiety to to say, "Hey, I hear you. I know you're trying to help." 
it only increases, I think, the joy. Because I think the more I push other stuff out, then joy gets kind of squashed a little bit. Yeah, I think to feel all the emotions is to feel alive in this world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A typical recording session is with Kelsey and Mark across from uh, me in the booth, and I have lines, and I get to play, and Kelsey gives me notes or says, just to play, say it your own way. It just feels like a fun game. Mm. It's so fun. It's like a game night, except I'm working. <laughs> um, what's it like to be in the voiceover booth? It's it's an opportunity you just don't get in life. Like, you... You don't get to act that crazy on a daily basis. I mean, I can. I can go on the street and start screaming like fear. But, like, to give the permission just to, like, come up with ideas and play and what about this? And also to be directed by Kelsey, who's such an energy and so many ideas. Mm -hmm. As an actor, just be like, oh, that's such a great idea. Let me try this. And you can just kind of feel the molding happening. And that's really fun. Ooh. Watch your audience is to see, not see inside out. Through. Yeah, there is no reason. Yeah. Um, you first. Why should audiences see inside out too? Um, I really think, <laughs> I just think it's, a, I, I know I'm in this movie. And I know it sounds like a pushing. I think it's a gift to the world. I think there's a, there's some, there's a gift to, to, sh, to not only make young people feel seen in this really kind of chaotic time of the teenage years, it gives parents the opportunity to kind of understand what the kids are going through, but also any, whether you're a teenager or a parent just in life to be like, Hey, let me give myself a little, let me give myself a little more of a break, you know, have a little more compassion on myself and to see that in a funny, creative way, game changer. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Audiences should see this movie because first of all, it's a fun, funny, like very funny roller coaster of a movie it's just an entertaining fun time to share with your loved ones and subversively it gives us language to do, to talk about our emotions and our sense of self and our belief system and it subversively teaches us uh how to live better lives by accessing our emotions and welcoming them yeah, to yeah. our lives